Hello everyone, how is everyone doing today? This is going to be for Scorpios. Hi Scorps! I hope that you guys are doing very, very well. We are going to get into your read, Scorpio. I wanted to tap into a no contact energy for you, so if this does resonate, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angel Guide, Ancestors, thank you for being here for Scorpios today. As we get into the energy, protect me as I dive in and protect me as I release myself from the energy as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, for being here and relating this message. Thank you, Divine God. Whew. All right, y'all. So, let's just see what we have. Who is this person? What is their words for Scorpios? So someone that is feeling the pressure of this love. It's like you are the first person that they ever felt this way about. They're saying, I can't handle your love. It's deep. It's crazy. It's making them think in a way that they haven't thought before. It's challenging. Um, it's deep. They don't know what's happening here. So, tell me more. Why do I feel this? Why do I feel this? Why? It's like they're asking asking themselves something here, Scorps. And I feel like within this energy, it's like it's very challenging because you're the first person. They don't know why they can't get over this. They're trying to get over this. They're putting you through a loop. The heat between us is intense. So there's a deep attraction with you and this energy. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This passion is too much, yeah? The passion, the connection, the love. It's like they want out, but they can't. They can't live without you. It's like I'm getting like this person is not getting what they want from this connection. I feel like this person, this connection is very challenging. And when I say like getting what they want, I'm definitely replying to... They can't get their way. This is what I'm getting here. They're having a hard time getting their way. You're masculine. <laughs> I'm just seeing like a masculine energy here. All right, so tell me more about this person that's coming in, the situation for Scorpio this person the situation for Scorpio and this person what is going on here the situation for Scorpio and this person situation for Scorpio and this person so we have the high front here we also have the page of pentacles in reverse and we have the seven of cups so this person cheated on you some of you this could be someone from your past someone that you were married to or you were planning to marry someone that could have been introduced by friends or family this is coming off for traditional old-fashioned this could be maybe in church you met this person hmm some kind of community activity. And this person didn't give you that stability that you wanted. So, and there's a lot of <laughs> activity here. There's a lot of multiple partnerships. This person is overwhelmed within this energy. going to be a there is going to be a 
like a breakthrough of a whole lot of divine love divine truth divine love that's coming in i feel like a lot of you need to have faith here um within your situation okay whatever it is if you don't want to be with this person fine but there is hope here the truth is coming to the surface no one can break this love is coming to you no one can break this it's strong and i feel like what i'm seeing here from the five because i'm getting like this five of cups energy and it's like oh it's like so drained so emotionally drained emotionally attacked and you just feel like you know what i'm done like you don't have anything within you anymore like you feel like you just give up um and this could be with love too with all this love that you want to experience or the love that you had value for and um, this could be with other people as well like you just feel like you were giving yourself away and you weren't getting any kind of affections back or any kind of energy back with the energy that you were like really presenting to other people that was basically love and just being of service but i feel like within this situation you're just like really accepting what this is right now and choosing to walk away from this but the holy spirit is like surprise surprise there is going to be love coming in for you but this is going to be from other directions there's going to be truth and messages coming in towards you opportunities as well of success but you need to know that this is a spiritual guided thing like everything that is about to happen for your life is going to be good because you deserve this it's like something is happening right on time here it's on the back of this deck it says you triggered me so you're dealing with someone that has a lot of trials and tribulations things that they have to heal i just feel like this person could have had some kind of childhood trauma because they're bringing up like you have triggered me so there's a lot of arguments here in this connection that's coming back in i'm also seeing a lot of fear a lot of stress a lot of depression a lot of anxiety a lot of just doubting yourself and this is something in the present moment and you have been dealing with this because you want this so bad you wanted this happily ever after this is something that you're continuing to invest in so for a lot of you you're you're making a lot of decision based on fear right now but this is something that you're invested in so i'm just seeing like i'm just getting like a huge force of energy that you're going to take this person back something is not done here And within the high front, you know, it's like that stubborn energy. It's like a decision has been made despite whatever happened. It doesn't matter if someone is trying to change your mind. You already made up your mind. Because you're being challenged here within the high front. Okay. Tell me more. Three of swords. The strength. So you're feeling drained or exhausted within the situation, within the strength card. Like you don't know what else to do, but this seems to be a con a contract. This person wants you to be patient. It's like they are they want you to know that they want to give you that happily ever after. What the picture that you have, but you are already there. They're trying to make that happen. They don't see that big picture yet so this person has a lot of love for you this person is coming up as a past connection this person is coming up as someone that you grew up with maybe on the block you used to hang out with each other or they used to hang out with your family but i'm also seeing a three of swords energy the eight of swords and the high priestess okay so cancer energy here we also have leo energy major arcana taurus energy major arcana but I'm seeing that, you know, the three of is in the present moment, so you're still hurt. Um, you're still trying to heal here. I'm also seeing, like, you know, getting back your self-confidence, your self-value, um, releasing a lot of things that this person have placed upon your life, the lies as well. And you're definitely in your power, okay? And this person is definitely 
making you show up as somebody very spiritual. We're going to get into this person's energy later. But I just feel like you're overall this spiritual person. Let me see the animal energy around you. Holy Spirit. <laughs> What's going on for Scorpio? No contact animal energy. Spiritual anim animal energy. What's the energy for Scorpio? What's the energy for Scorpio? <laughs> Scorpio. Ooh, I'm seeing this famine. Okay, let's see. Let's see for Scorpio. What's the animal? Spirit energy. Ooh, you have spider. You have a few. You have spider here that's coming out. So I feel like things are gonna come in come together for you. But again, like that energy of like everything is connected and you need to have faith. I'm also seeing a lot of blessing. The peacock. OMG. Scorpio. The peacock. You know, uh, the peacock kind of remind me of the web. I don't know. I just feel like the web energy is giving me that, 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 that connection. Like everybody's connected. Look at the peacock. Like all these feathers just complement each other. If you ever saw a peacock and when they open up like that, it's just a true beauty, you know? And this is what I'm seeing here. So it's like a lot of amazing opportunities is coming. Everything is coming together. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be like, wow, my life is perfect. You're going to find a lot of beauty in a, in a serious situation. And then I'm seeing a lot of resources within the squirrel preparing for things, being ahead of things as well. It's like someone, whoever is, whoever is against you, Scorpio, you're going to be ahead of them. And this is the problem, I think, <laughs> for a lot of people that deal with Scorpio. Like, they, you already know. You already know. You're playing nice. You're playing nice. You're playing nice within the squirrel. You're not taking things seriously because you're already ahead of the game and the spiritual aspect. Look at this. Look at this. Hi, Priestess. You're already ahead of the game. And then we have the Firefly. Woo. You have a lot of blessing here. So again, past energy, childhood energy, going back in the past. And then you have the Six of Cups. Crazy. On the back of the deck. Ooh, you do have the Seahorse energy. A lot of water signs. No, this one, just one water sign, but I saw the salmon earlier, so. But this is masculine energy, masculine power. You know, every time I see the seahorse as well, I'm thinking about love, like somebody's coming in to fit just you. Um, I'm also seeing the dog in the back, loyalty, okay? A energy of freedom within the horse, so look at that, masculine energy, gorilla. Very strong energy, leadership, like taking the leadership, taking that role and trying to figure out things out. So a lot of you could be dealing with a father or a masculine energy, but I'm seeing a journey within a horse that you don't see coming within the future vibes, guys. Spiritual journey energy, taking a step back from everything and just really trying to heal yourself all right so tell me more about this tell me more tell me more tell me more wow you have the magician the, two, the 11 11 as well you have the two of swords hmm, i feel like someone is overthinking something here like you have all the energy not the energy but you have all the information that's needed but something about this like again you know you were giving me a vibe of going back to this past energy and you have all the information within this two of swords but you don't want to make it because you want this future you want this 11 11 look at that you have the magician like you want this happily ever after with this person like you're praying you're manifesting you're hoping within the moon <laughs> look at the moon in the back your intuition is in play with this and you just want that fulfillment you want that future vibe that 11 11 moment and you feel like you have everything spiritually as long as you keep this as positive as possible and you continue your praying your manifestation diving into your power then you're going to be okay because you're manifesting 
all that you have in the spiritual world to be in the physical realm it's like you're taking that power you have that power you're coming out very powerful look at this these are two powerful cards i mean the height the, the high front is powerful too but yeah you're having like a lot of like powerful energy here but angel michael wants you to remain strong because in some cases there's going to always be challenges within your life okay there's always going to be tests when it comes to your relationship and also the fact that they're giving you like this blessing of ace of cups ace of swords energy like whatever lie that was told or that wasn't the truth wasn't the truth it's going to be revealed it's going to be revealed tell me more holy spirit tell me more tell me more okay so you have the four of pentacles in reverse the knight of cups and the queen of cups Clearly, this is someone that definitely feels differently than you do. I feel like you're ready to settle down. This person is just ready to see where thing go, things go. And then you have the Four of Cups energy where they're saying that you left them in the past. Like you walked away because they were selfish. They were thinking about themselves. I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles here, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of one so there's no new perspective but this is who is coming in i feel like they're hiding a lot of things as well but you're showing up as the nine of pentacles yeah the power of the relationship the independence of the relationship you're showing up as single as ever as well solo vibes not to say that you're not talking to other people but you're not serious Okay. This person is still trying to be guarded. Still likes to have that control. This is a problem. Tell me more. You have the three of wands. You have the king of wands energy. So they're not a leader. This person is not a leader. They're making mistakes and they're putting all on you to take up all these mistakes. This is this person has a lot of things, a lot of baggage here that's going on. And there's a huge distance between you and this person. So a huge time difference. This could also be that this person has been away for too long. OK, with the three of wands in reverse, it's like they were in a whole relationship as well. This is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see energy of this connection. Let's see energy of this connection. Ooh, passion. This could be the one. Passion and this could be the one. This could be the one. If they play their cards right with you. So you have other contracts, other choices. Okay. Ooh, engagement. So this could be someone that you, again, were engaged to, married to. Oof. Because I'm seeing like traditional vibes here. Maybe someone from the church or someone from a spiritual community that you met this person. There's differences between you as well. Religious factors or belief systems. 
like you and this person wow have a struggle here codependency as well someone is like when i look at that codependency this could just be empress in reverse someone coming into your life because you know you're showing up as that nine so you did a lot for yourself you did good here um scorpios and this person is coming in and they don't have much so you have to be careful because this person won't deny anything that you're offering okay and another thing that i'm picking up is like this person might just use like you know they're like they're not asking you for something but they're telling you about their lives so you can feel sorry for them and give them something so be careful be careful here scorpio because you are a, a kind-hearted person you give your last if that's what it takes to, to uh, feel like there is a difference you know within the situation keep an open mind as well a lot of you are looking for something or you have a lot on your list remember that no one is perfect when you're looking for someone to be with you because you could find the perfect person but then that person end up treating you like crap so it says here your soulmate may differ from the from your usual type of expectations so there's a lot of things on your list that you want from someone but i feel like some scorpios just want to be respected love but then there's a lot of other other things too like attraction you know <laughs> um but yeah this is what i'm seeing with this one but let me um tap into this person's energy and see we're gonna keep these tap into this person's energy the passion a lot of you could be dealing with a fire sign or a leo sign okay a lot of you were talking about marriage with this person or making a family or building some kind of empire, leaving behind some kind of legacy. Remember, a legacy could be a child or a company. It's named from you and this person. Okay. But there's a lot of differences between you and this person. The Two of Swords energy. <laughs> it's like this there's something that's growing and i'm hearing like it needs to be dealt with before it becomes more serious okay Oop. all right what is this person's energy let me open the blinds you guys because I realized that the lines were not open, which helps to make it look, look a little brighter in here. <laughs> so, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, energy for Scorpio, well, person, solo, the person that's coming back in. What is their energy in this situation? Holy Spirit, as I tap into this person's energy, protect me as I get into their energy and protect me as I release myself from this energy as well. Okay. So let's say this person's energy person's energy so they're not as positive as you for sure i'm getting the four of swords i'm getting the magician in reverse i'm also seeing the six of swords energy The Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Hmm. 
So the spiritual breakthrough that is happening is just for you, Scorpio. It's not for this person. I feel like there's a lot of insecurities within this person right now when it comes to commitment or relationships with this Queen of Cups here. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm also seeing a huge transition that is happening and is so needed at this moment. I feel like this person, this person and you needed that separation because it was becoming very toxic. I'm also seeing like some kind of mental breakdown here or some kind of breakup or some kind of like need some time to ray or to rest or to recharge couldn't communicate couldn't talk to this person this is what i'm getting and i feel like within this magician in reverse there was like a dark period a real dark period of things that was said that this person couldn't take back i'm just getting bitterness i'm just getting things that you're finding out here within the magician like this person sleeping with other people or sleeping with people without protection um some of you might have had some kind of um health uh scare with this person as well with stds um so i'm seeing that and this is in reverse you guys so a lot of you need to really focus on your health because like this person doesn't understand that they have the power to make their lives different and that codependency energy that came up was definitely this person's energy because it wasn't in your swatch hmm <laughs> It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person, this is like negative force of energy that is affecting your romantic connection with this person. Or uh, the ab ability, this person could be the one, but because of their addictions, because of their bad behavior, they're risking everything. Wow. All right, so tell me more, Holy Spirit. I need some coffee. <laughs> I haven't had a cup of coffee all day, you guys. I need that, period. And I love, I make my own coffee. You know, I, I make it like Starbucks, okay? I don't go to Starbucks, but I make it like Starbucks. Okay, so we have the, the world here in reverse. The lies, the deceit, the betrayal, the seven of swords. And we also have the tower energy as well. Wow. Wow. The star in reverse. No, the world in reverse. So there's an incompletion here. So. Well, this is a no contact. So here you have it. The confirmation. So this person is coming back. But the lies you have. You still don't know the truth of what this person have done you still don't know the truth here and then this is because you don't know the truth there was a a quick moment of ending between you and this person it's like as fast as it started as fast as it ended this is what i'm seeing i'm also seeing gemini virgo within the magician major arcana you guys i have gemini again aquarius scorpio in some cases um and taurus leo within the world i also have in scorpio and aries fighting in the tower so there's a lot of masculine energy here like this person wants to be in charge of you this is what i'm getting here this person wants to be in charge of the relationship they have choices here they don't want to make any choice so they're fact factuated with this these choices they're daydreaming fantasizing oh my god Ugh. and that's what happened in the relationship because this person just didn't give you their time the nine of swords in reverse and the six of cups so this contract is also in reverse this is crazy because i'm getting a little, a little miss mixed signal here because for those of you you know i was pulling your energy and i felt like your energy was like the six of cups in the upright but this person is like talking about bad times you know that happened in this connection <laughs> bad things that happened in this connection tell me more holy spirit they're talking about they have past issues here like unfinished past issues with you so they're coming back even though the six of swords is in reverse 
they are coming back. That's what I'm getting here. It's like it's it's like an, it's it's like the energies are pulling this person back together, and the, the 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 depression and stress and anxiety is definitely at a high. Okay, shuffling this deck, you guys. Tell me more. What is this person thoughts about the situation? I'm having some things I want to push out. It says I'm trying to turn my life around here. You think I'm half human. So you think that this person doesn't have a soul. They're trying to change for you. They're trying to turn their lives around. Well, this person is very dark. So then this one, please let me come over or let me come over, please. So this person wants to talk to you, but I feel like <laughs> so a lot of you already had some kind of contact with this person. Like you already had some call or text or Facebook um, messenger. <laughs> You know, they're trying to get in touch with you, trying to ask you to let them explain or trying to be in your space. Angel of Fortune. So this person is really wanting some kind of good vibes here. But they don't know how to relate that. And the Angel of Fortune is coming in. Good fortune. Trying to create some kind of good karma with this situation. Ooh, this just jumped out. Let's start a new chapter. Look at that. Let's start a new chapter. And the crazy thing I just want to say, because when I was pulling your energy, I was getting like, you did, there's like no indication that you wanted to end this. You know, I wasn't getting that. So tell me about this person more that's coming through. Tell me about this person more. All right, so we have the King of Swords. Conversation is going to be strong between you and this person. They're going to make this happen. They're going to make this happen because they feel sorrow and sad and lonely without you. They feel sorrow and sad without you. They, are, they have been a lot of trials and tribulations with you, a lot of experience, a lot of history with you. Um... Hmm. But somehow this person still wants to continue this. It's like I just feel like a lot of people like and like end a relationship with this person or choose to leave them or abandon them because they're too dark and too negative. Because this person's challenging your beliefs, they're challenging some of you, you know, your thoughts, everything. There's a lot of differences between you and this person. The way you think, they think differently. This could be your opposite, Scorpio. So a lot of you could be with a Gemini or Aquarius or a Libra, okay? Or Aries, okay? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out the fire sign because sometimes it depends. I feel like <laughs> when it comes to Scorpio, because Scorpio is fire. So you could work it out with Aries, you know, Leo and Sag. You can't. Like your fire mentality. But Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, those are your opposites. Um, okay. And I'm seeing Leo here as well within the sun. So they look at you as a sun and they're trying, like they say, they're trying to be a better person, you guys. And they look at you, they're scared of you because you changed. 
you change. It's like you're just protecting yourself, your your state of mind, your people around you. This is what it is. And they look at you as that sun energy, that youthful energy, that kid-like energy, that six of cups energy. And this is why you have to be careful with not just this person, but everybody. Because you're, you're appearing to be a gas station. <laughs> okay you're appearing to be a gas station y'all when everybody else is down this is when they come around this is when they come around honey within the sun cancer leo virgo um libra scorpio aries I'm just reading all these signs on these cards. This card here. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a choice. All right, let's use this one. We're gonna clarify. Clarify, tell me about the Four Swords. Holy Spirit, Four Swords for this person's energy. Towards Scorpio, Four Swords. Ooh. Wow, this like fell to the ground. You have the magician in reverse. The magician in reverse, you guys. So this person was very toxic to you. This person did a lot to you. And this is why the four swords happen. The mental breakdown happened. Can I have the Gemini energy, please? Tell me more about this Gemini energy in reverse. Holy Spirit, we have the temperance. So this is going to take time to heal. The angels are also saying that there wasn't a lot to believe in. Like this person doesn't believe in the energy, you know. This person believes in when you die, it's just dark and it's over with and there is nothing. This is what this person believes in. Despite what they have told you, this is what their beliefs is. So they don't believe in the stars and they're really affecting your energy. We have the nine of wands and this is a fight. Why am I seeing you guys fighting? to stay together or it's like this was the main issue of the relationship maybe this is also about religion tell me about the world in reverse the incompletion in reverse the incompletion in reverse we have the three of pentacles okay three of pentacles energy so this person wants to come in and possibly work with you or be friends with you. They still look up to you. This is why they're coming back. But they haven't made a decision, final decision, how to do this yet within the judgment. I'm getting Aries and Libra. Tell me about this Nine of Wands energy again. A lot of trials and tribulations here. A lot of fighting. A lot of passion. A lot of... You know, fire energy. Tell me about this nine of wands in reverse. It's like some it's like this person is saying that you walked away. They want to communicate why you walked away after you guys been through so much together. You know? It's kind of like you were tired. I'm seeing the hermit because they pushed you away. <laughs> Spiritually, again, the Queen of Swords. It's like you're still open to this person, too, because I'm seeing conversation like you're always open to talk. It's not like this person is not, you know, like you want to be in the same room. You're showing up as a queen of swords. They're the king of swords trying to be very um, masculine upon you. Ooh, one at a time, Holy Spirit. Cards are coming out, you guys. Fall into the ground. I'm not moving fast enough. <laughs> All right, so tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. See? Look at this. Cards. They want to push out cards, you guys. All right, so you have the Queen of Wands and you have the Five of Wands for this Knight of Pentacles energy. So there was a lot of conflicts and friction. You guys weren't on the same page. You know, I'm just seeing like you're not on the same page. Like you're distant away from each other. And, but at the same time, you're showing up at this queen, like this queen of wands energy, like you're always willing to work something out or to start over. 
and this is why in your energy i did not see that you're saying that you're not going to entertain this person okay you did not say that so tell me about this queen of cups energy the six of cups energy so they're bringing up the six of cups again for the queen of cups it's like they manipulated all your life because they're saying that you guys have been friends forever and they emotionally manipulate you make oh my god manipulated you made you feel very insecure all your life throughout your relationship the ten of wands in reverse this was a burden and it was heavy it was intense and you had to let this go because they keep looking at you as something that you have a lot of history with the nine of wands and then i'm getting the ten of wands as well in reverse and it's like oh wow you just let go of a lot of things tell me about this ace of swords holy spirit what is this person talking about ace of swords energy the high ferons in reverse wow so this is challenging because the high front taurus energy the ace of swords high front definitely this person is not ready for a spiritual connection with you i'm not seeing that i'm seeing like this is blocked spiritually with you they, they don't understand yet they are not there yet but this high front is also giving me codependency vibes. Like this person is listening to other people. Listening to all the wrong advices and refusing to see. This could be, you know, their belief system or their family. But they're very prideful as well. They're not giving you all any kind of like, I'm sorry kind of energy. You're right. I'm wrong. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more. The Devil. Oh, Lord. So this person is trying to make you unstable or unfit just because some some kind of money that they're trying to control or house or um, the legacy, the company, the children, everything that you guys have built together. So a lot of you could have been married because I'm getting this high front in reverse. So there's a separation, but I feel like it's not so simple. It's like the, it's like I'm getting the marriages in reverse, but they're, the living situation for some of you are still the same. And this person is like doesn't want to abandon this because of the money situation. I'm also seeing the devil here. So they're, they're, this person is coming off stuck. A stuck vibe. Tell me about the six of cups, Holy Spirit. They, they're going to stay there at the star. They're waiting for a huge opportunity. They're waiting for you guys to be balanced out. They don't know how to get you guys back on a positive level. Yeah, they're waiting for a spiritual connection, a spiritual breakthrough to happen for you and this person. Do you see this? Beautiful cards, by the way. Um, just waiting for just an opportunity to happen between you and this person. Waiting for you guys to have faith again, to be happy again um, within the sun, like how you used to be. But something happened within this person's energy where they're so negative. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy. Holy Spirit. Queen of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. Whew. So they, they, they really try to scam you here. The Eight of Cups. So they deceived you, lied to you, betrayed you, surprised you within the situation. This could be with someone else, but they did this with, with you. And you found out about this. They embarrassed you for some of you in public and then left your ass looking. Like, okay, they left you high and dry. 
Oh my God. And it, this could be about someone else as well. And this is who is coming back. Oh my gosh. This is who is coming back. This is a little cray cray. <laughs> I don't know. This is cray cray, you guys. Honestly. I'm being called to another deck real quick. This is why I don't like to be around my decks because I just be called and I don't have nothing I can do about it because it just bothers me throughout. All right, so let's just clear up and then we're going to get into the feelings because to see what this is. All right, just making sure. If you guys made it to this part of the video, make sure that you guys are liking your videos. It really helps the channel to grow. All right, so let's just see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, so what does this person feel? Feelings towards Scorpio. <laughs> What's their feelings towards Scorpio? What is this person's feelings towards Scorpio? What's this person's feelings towards Scorpio? Wow. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, so you have the Prince of Swords. So, all right, now you have the, the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Two of Cups energy. So, it's like this happened overnight for them, didn't it? <laughs> I'm just getting this huge force of energy that's coming through, right? This Prince of Swords energy, the angels are leading this person. This person is rushing in, um, willing to fight for whatever is theirs because they feel like you you are made for them. They feel like you're there for them, right? And they're rushing in to fight for your honor, okay? And I feel like within this energy, they they are not the best communicators, okay, within this energy, especially if they're going to see someone with you. All could go out the window that they were rehearsing and practicing for you to get you back. But they feel like you are fated. They feel like you are their soulmate. It's crazy because <laughs> they feel like you are the soulmate. You are fated. You are destiny. You are their destiny. And they're looking at you as a two of cups in the upright. So that's very interesting. And then I remember seeing a, a card said keep open-minded you guys it says here your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations expectations expecting that this relationship should move very smoothly very happy if it's your soulmate they shouldn't do this for you they do this to you hurt you betray you um and the truth is <laughs> life is all about lessons that's the truth the mission is more important um, yes, people should treat each other with respect, but everybody has a free will. So, and this person has a free will to do whatever they want, but at the same time, their feelings for you is quite heightened, quite heightened. You're this beauty. They can't freaking explain it. You are this beauty. Everything just feels aligned when you are around. Like they say, they can't handle this love. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I feel this? Why? It's like they're pleading and asking and trying to find out an answer to their question. Okay? The intense heat that they feel towards you when they're with you. It says the heat between us is intense. Sometimes they don't want to sleep with you because they feel like they're drowning. Okay? So they try to keep the distance away from you. The passion is too much. Yeah. The passion is too much for this person. 
all right so they want a new chapter this is what i'm seeing here on the back of the deck we do have the i believe this is the star in reverse or the temperance is it the temperance hold on now no i believe this is the star but let me make sure you guys because i have to i have to <laughs> make sure i think this is a temperance hold on now because this deck is a little different but i'm feeling like it's the star i really feel like you could no i think it could be let's say let's say sorry you guys terror freeze <laughs> it is the temperance <laughs> i gotta get used to the number number 16 the art well that makes sense why didn't i not know that the art it's like the artist, like the card that is like the artist. The artist is the energy of the temperance of Sag energy. It's an angel looking over you. What? <laughs> Brain freeze. Okay, so the temperance is in reverse. Okay. But, you know, again, I just feel like there's the star is kind of similar. It's kind of like this balance, this need for balance, this need for time, it's need for like it's not the right opportunity, especially when the star is in reverse. It's like no it's not the right opportunity the stars are not aligned the angels are not aligned but with it in temperance it's like it's more about yourself as well your self-love your self-value they're saying that you're not ready um and this person is looking at you as a temperance in reverse where this might need more time because it's like you can't handle them or it's up to you to get back in a relationship with them it's it's like it's your move like they're giving me this energy like you're, they're like forcing themselves upon you but within this future element it's like you're not ready within the art i'm seeing leo energy and aquarius as well within the temperance look at these animals spiritual animals they see them you have leo and you have aquarius there within the bird woo, woo, woo. wow I love that art. All right, y'all, let's pull some more cards and see what this person's mind is at. Well, they look at you as one. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. The third party made me do it. Haven't seen this in a minute, but here it is within your energy. So there is someone that this person is with and I feel like this person left you high and dry, embarrassed you and walked away within the situation being pressured. But the third party could have been a family member or something, someone very masculine or someone that needs this person to be there within their life. Someone that's very codependent, angel of disappointment. So this is what you're feeling with this person right now. This is why the angels are appearing because they're trying to work on this disappointment. They're trying to console you. They're trying to have you see, you know, different directions and different perspective about this person and why they're trying to have you understand something here, trying to like really help you to reconnect. Um, and that when you're looking at this person again, not just see that trying to heal that that side of things that's blocking you from connecting to this energy again okay i was unfair to you over and over so this was a cycle so this person promised you they will never do it again and they did they're disgusted with themselves disappointed with themselves they're angry a lot of you this person could have tried to harm you spiritually physically mentally emotionally I miss your smile. You're the sun. Tell 
tell me more holy spirit all right i have please let me explain why so they want to explain why they did it so this person wants to explain why they did it i feel like scorpio when we had many readings before like this person just didn't have the words but this one they want to explain why they did what they did I meant what I said. I'm so sorry. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I meant what I said. I'm so sorry. It's like they're crying like a baby here. I'm just hearing tears. I've learned my lesson for sure. <laughs> they can't do without you. They're living without you. They can't do it. This could be someone that you were married to. And now you guys are separated. But something about this money situation. It's like they're holding on to it. Because you are the stability. Some of you. I just feel like there is someone here that married in a family. A good family. Or this is the cross watcher. Okay. Because I'm seeing like this person going to be leaving with nothing. Okay. Oh gosh. I have been getting that card married for money. Oh my gosh. I want you baby. I do. So there was a decision that this person needs to make. And now they're saying that they want you baby. I do. Like they know who they want to be with. So they're not confused. I feel like who's confused here. <laughs> Because this person ain't showing me confusion. This person ain't showing me like you confused of what the hell is going on. Like you still want clarification. You still want confirmation. You still want proof. You want to know the beginning to the end. Like this person is so over it. Okay. I will change for you. I will change for you. He feels like or she feels like you are that important. So they will change for you. Okay, that's what they're saying. Okay, I estimate I I'm sorry. I unestimated you. So they felt like they could get away with the situation like they wasn't going to get caught. You wasn't going to find out about it. You have children together. Angel of children is appearing. So there's children that is involved with this situation. <laughs> wow. It's all because of me. You're feeling sad and blue. And they're taking responsibility. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Let's do two more of these and then we're going to move to the black cards. Let's see. Angel of Seduction. So this person... <laughs> Well, this person was in temptation, honey, and they fell into that some temptation. All right, now tell me more. One more. So this person cheated because of their selfish needs. You were right all this time. So your intuition was right. They're saying that you were right all this time. And that's on period. Okay. They try to manipulate your brain make you feel like you're going crazy tell me more holy spirit there's no contact energy for scorpio no contact energy for scorpio Ooh, something fell on the floor we have two messages that fell it says i can't make you happy i can't make you happy period <laughs> but you are their son but they can't make you happy but you can make them happy but they can't make you happy period that's what i'm saying why do I feel so lost? Question mark. This person lost everything. I feel like this person needs counseling, therapy, something. Something is missing. There's nothing that you can do. Um, this person needs something. I can't take it anymore. It's like they're busting. They, they need to tell you something. They need to tell you the truth. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. And you're constantly trying to make it work, Scorpio. This is what they're saying. 
despite the shadiness that this person is that they're bringing shadiness into your life like they're making it so hard for you like they're trying to fight with you for no reason argue with you they're trying to like discredit you make you feel so bad about yourself they don't even know why at this point that they're doing it it's it's especially to you where you don't deserve it tell me more holy spirit tell me more for scorpio what's this person's energy what's this person's energy what's going on here for scorpio these feelings are eating me alive and I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's everything that this person have gone through. Everything that this person have hide from you, hid from you. It's eating this person alive. These, th the truth is like eating this person alive. Do you hear me? It's eating this person alive. One more. One more here for Scorpios. And the thing... You got, you know, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo here within the Wheel of Fortune. But it says, please do, please, please don't. Oh my God, what am I saying? Why can't I read this card? Every time I have problems with these. But it says, please do what is best for your heart. Okay? Please do what is best for your heart. I feel like it's a jumbo letters, honestly. Let me stop this clock real quick before I start beeping. One more. Please do what is best for your heart. And I never got this one before. I don't think I did. So it's like they're saying that, like, like choose yourself. You know, choose yourself. Choose what you want. Because, like, like, I, like I've been feeling, this person is like, it's your turn, your shot, your move. Because if you want this, this is what it is. They're willing to change. That's what they're saying for you, but what happens if it doesn't work? So they're gonna go back to the same old vibe. This is what I'm getting with that. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Okay, I am stuck in a vision of us together. This is why they don't wanna give up because they really feel like they, oh, oh Lord, I just feel like this person is like for, for long term, they're thinking about you, but right now this person is in a process of exploring and experiencing life. So it's like, you came way too quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, divine timing needs to be at play here because it's just showing up like this person is just not ready. Like I picked up before, you love this person more than this person loves you. This person is giving you the Knight of Cups to see where things go and you are already there Scorpio like you want to see a relationship you want a relationship you you're done with the games you're done with seeing how things go you know it's done taking it slow like you want a real relationship and this person is just not there yet but this is what I have I hope it resonates if it does you guys go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT but if it doesn't I'll have the playlist which below in the description don't forget to thumbs up your video and I'll see you guys in your next one bye guys